ta ta today I want to do a hopefully quick one on HBAR and their s smart nodes that are now online. So um, I will explain what these are, but uh, we have the very first s smart node based decentralized exchange is now live on the Hedera network. Uh, it looks like it was put into place by HBAR Sweet, and uh, they took the time to make sure this new tech is as secure as possible. And that is a good um, opportunity to say or to uh, remind everybody that in order to implement these things right, it takes time. And that's why things like uh, Casper and XRP don't move all that quickly. But once they do, and once we get a true enterprise and institutional adoption, all of these things that have been put in p p p p p place will uh, or can become immediately more valuable. So um, that is the announcement from HBAR Suite. Um, here is uh, a bit more uh, from Possible T's, TS, I don't know. Accelerate your Web3 development with smart node SDK and APIs. Um, I am not a code guy. I have uh, worked with a little C, C++, uh, SQL, and Python but um, I don't understand it. It's, it, it's not something that I uh, am naturally inclined for. So I just do all kinds of things in Excel and um, do all kinds of equations that can do most of the things that I actually have to do. So I am, uh, I am pretty, yeah, I'm a caveman. So, um, here we have what the uh, H suite actually looks like. And if you go down to their smart nodes page, it says how it works. Well, it is a uh, combination of different t t technologies. So it has Nest JS, which is a f framework uh, for uh, node.js servers, w which is Python. Um, and uh, it fully supports type script. SCs are almost as hard as STs. Um, Hedera JS SDK, so that's something with Python again, but it offers software development kits to facilitate the interaction between server-side applications and the H or and the Hedera network. That sounds like an API in a way. I don't know. Um, and a and the dot 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 docker uh, which um, a container is a unit of software that packages up code and all of its dependencies so the application runs quickly and re and reliably from one computing environment to another so uh, this is their d d DeFi platform here's the d d d d d d d dashboard um, exchange uh, on HBAR cross chain exchange, a launch pad to uh, create your own tokens, I'm assuming. Um, and uh, it has NFTs in there and a token manager as well. Um, this kind of uh, reminds me of a, a s some information I put out um, a while back. Uh, about their stablecoin uh, creator, which is um, apparently one of the easiest ones out there. It also has a DAO and multi-signature wallets as well. So here is what I was actually... Um, planning to talk about before I found uh, a bit more on it. So we all know that H Hedera is a green carbon negative DLT network. But did you know that smart contracts are not 
green. They are actually very energy intensive as they require far more comp computational power to complete. If we compare a typical smart contract transaction to a typical HCS transaction, not only is the smart contract orders of magnitude more, uh, more expensive, but the computational power required means it consumes far more energy as well, which impacts us directly in a number of ways. Uh, from a higher cost per transaction to a longer wait time for completed execution. Uh, for example, let's just take uh, the uh, the Ethereum virtual machine, for example, and uh, how expensive and how inefficient that that is. Um, at the same time, the network has to expend more computational power and therefore energy to execute the smart contract which means that the network has to spend more money on carbon offsets. Uh, however, there are other options uh, which are huge improvements. And one of them is HBAR Suite. Uh, and they have created those smart nodes, which are here. They not only eliminate the extra computational power required for a smart contract, but they also lower the fees to the end user as well. What's more exciting is the fact that they also remove the bottleneck of smart contracts, uh, which is about 300 transactions per second, as smart nodes allow you to execute the same programmable transactions at native Hedera speeds, which is over 10,000 transactions per second, all while uh, remaining fully a BFT, um, which is uh, part of the uh, B B B Byzantine fault tolerant design, which uh, just means that um, if a number of validator nodes do not agree for uh, whatever reason, then it doesn't affect the Hedera pr 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 protocol and it will still run. Um, so just to recap, smart node improvements are, uh, it requires less energy with a lower carbon footprint, less cost, per transaction, faster execution, and a more transparent atomic tr 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 transaction. Um, so that was uh, pr pretty much it, uh, which is a really interesting post because I had not actually heard of those. But if you go and look uh, on the uh, developer uh, information end of the Hedera site, it has tons and tons and tons of information, and I won't uh, pretend to understand a lot of it, but it has tons of things here. Um, and from what I've read online, it is actually uh, one of the friendlier platforms to actually work with. So here is the condi uh, here is the Hedera consensus service page, um, which uh, can eventually uh, point you in the right d d direction of the uh, new s s s smart nodes from H Suite Finance. Um, this is about the network itself. Uh, not a whole lot that is uh, too high level at least, uh, but it does have a lot of information there. And one of the things that I actually found which was really interesting, and it actually uh, connects HBAR to C C Corda, and therefore XDC, and likely even XRP, with how uh, I uh, have put together an opinion on that that says that if you have publicly available code to use XRP, then um, a lot of the institutions and uh, 
companies who work with Ripple would probably want to use XRP. But here is code um, to use uh, to use HBAR and the Hedera consensus service with Corda. So I will certainly have to check into that a lot more now.